the bar can still fly as well as they can. Say hello again to a little time favorite here, of course, from Denmark, Nikki Monroe. A lot of people have got the impression that women wrestling is pulling each other's hair out, possibly mud wrestling, which has got absolutely nothing to do with professional wrestling. I don't like people saying things like that because I've worked hard at my job to actually make a career out of it. Women wrestling is not seedy at all. I mean, we're well covered up. You know, you get comments like, um, oh, when are you going to peel your leotard off? Well, that just doesn't happen. Women go in there. It's uh, something that they've trained for for quite some time. And they wrestle, you know, to show off their techniques, as it were. So there's absolutely no seedy side to it whatsoever. You don't go in the ring every week to beat the hell out of them and to break their bones. Because if you did, who would I be on with the week after and the week after that? They'd be out in the business for a long time with broken limbs, etc. And I would probably have nobody to go on with at a certain time. The worst thing in a wrestling match is for you to sit, for you to be working and for the crowd just to sit there quiet. So you do it ten sometimes, you do try to wind them up a bit, you know, because you need the reaction to get your adrenaline going for you to, to work better. I don't agree that because people portray women wrestlers as being tough and aggressive that that puts people off coming because uh, I know that a lot of people or fans that come come to see me be aggressive or come to see my opponent be aggressive and act tough in the ring um, so that certainly wouldn't put people off in my estimation at all in fact it would probably help it's not just women wrestlers I think women in general nowadays are a lot more aggressive in business sport everything they all tend to be uh, going more for it. They're not satisfied with second place anymore. They want to win, and they want to win at everything they do, which is a good thing. There's still fellas now that don't like women wrestling and uh, don't like the fact that they have to be on the same shows as women wrestling. Do you think they think it's changing their job? Well, it used to be a man's world, really, wasn't it? I think it, it's the challenge that they're frightened of more than anything, that the women might take a bit of the limelight away from the men. Or, you know, a bit of the heat away from the men. Um, I'll be honest, there's actually men in the job now that shouldn't be in the job. Never mind women. You know, some of the women wrestlers are a lot better than some of the, the young boys I've seen nowadays. Wrestling, to me, is very short-lived. And you could only go so many years doing it before your joints seize up or you have a nasty injury where you just can't carry on any longer. Well, I think that having an, another sort of sideline, doing another job helps. There's a total contrast between myself wrestling and uh, working in the residential home. Um, maybe it's because I'm releasing all my frustrations out in the ring and then wanting to do sort of some community work and help out. Older people, you know, when I've got the spare time, which I do. No, Johnny's at uh, Plymouth tonight. He's working. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a long so, way then. Yeah, he's, he left at one o'clock, so he's got a long way to go. He won't be back till late tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of satisfaction from working with old people and him? helping them and seeing them get better, believe it or not. You haven't. No. You think You've got to have a lot of patience. Be prepared to be shouted at when they're in a bad mood and they wake up in the morning. You're a man, you see. I would have gone out each other. I think I could wrestle as well as a man. Well, I would like to wrestle with you. Uh, you wouldn't like to wrestle with me. Oh, that's not very nice. Well, you might hurt me, mightn't you? Hey, I wouldn't hurt you. In comparison, you take the ages in comparison. <laughs> I find nursing harder work than wrestling.
and I would choose wrestling all the time. <coughs> if I've not been wrestling for some time, um, I get sort of frustrated and bad tempered and angry quite easily um, and lose my temper. Uh, once I've wrestled, I, it seems to sort of create this release valve and it all, all sort of goes, which is nice because you sort of nice relaxed feeling once you've wrestled. bridge about eight times a week, maybe more, twice a day. Uh, I get sick of seeing it, but it's nice to come back and look at it again. On the way home, it's better still. The travelling is boring. Five, six hours a day going there, and five or six coming back, and you're only in the ring maybe up to 30 minutes. The actual wrestling makes up for all the travelling. How do you feel about Islam girl and that you're going to be fighting tonight? How do you feel about somebody you're going to beat up tonight? Do you like them? I know I don't. I don't like any of the girls that I wrestle. I would never wrestle with a friend. You know, you don't want to go out and beat your friends up, do you? So we just steer clear of each other and there we go in the ring and we're all out there to win. And I'm going to just do what I can to get hold of her. And I'm going to break her neck if I have to. But basically, I'm going to go in for the falls. And uh, she's a lot lighter than me, so I've got to sort of stop her from running around me with as much sort of strength as I can. Mm. So she's a, big, she's a big girl, but she's a lot lighter than I am. Yeah. So, I mean, is aggression... I mean, you're very aggressive in the ring. Does that bother you? Is that no, not your nature? No. I am who I am out here. In the ring, I'm in that ring for that one purpose, is to win the end result. And whatever I do... I'm gonna do to get it. I don't care how I do it. Basically, I am got moves that I'm not supposed to use. But I'll win them. I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks about me. I've gotta go in there and just keep my eyes on the referee, stop him from watching me doing what I'm not supposed to do. As long as I can keep him away from her and see me do the dodgy gear, I'll get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn about the crowd. Not one bit. I don't care about them, what they do or, or what they say. Don't bother me one bit. I just like to go in there and wind them up as best as I can know how to. And I just get a kick out of watching them squirm. Wouldn't you looking at the state of them out there? They come to see all this blood and guff. This is what they want. They don't want all this arty farty rubbish, you know, all this wrestling good moves. They want, they want to see blood and they want to see people getting knocked about. That's basically what they're there for. And they bring all their aggression out while they're there. Then they go home and they just carry on with their lives. Come on, yes, come on, I get called names, I just don't care. You know, what's a name? Who gives a damn about a name? I can get called, it doesn't hurt me. They're all mad when they go to the rest and they get so carried away. We have to take all the stick from them. So you're not only getting it from the wrestler you're on with, you get it from the crowd as well. They come up to you with all kinds of implements. I've had knitting needles stuck in the back of my leg, which went right through my leg, practically. You know, it was sort of buried deep. I've had cigarettes stubbed out on me. I've been hit with a handbag with a brick inside. 
stabbed with a Stanley knife. I actually got sliced. Uh, went for my back and ended up getting my hand. No, she wants shooting. She definitely wants shooting. Uh, because she's dirty, definitely not dirty. To be called she's a not built to be called a wrestler. Yes. How she's the nerve to walk in the ring looking like that, I don't know, in front of all these people. No. She's got no shame at all. No, she hasn't. No. no. None at all. She's, she's just a dirty, big, fat lump of lard. I don't think it's a ladies, a woman's game, really. No, no, I'm not. No, no. I much prefer the men. Do you think it's a lady, on lady like I think it is on lady like, like. Yes, or no. yes, definitely. That's another one bites the dust. I thought you were doing the biting. <sighs> well, you've got to do what you've got to do, haven't you? Who's next? Well, that'll be the end of her when we've done that one. So how do you feel about getting the belt? It's getting closer and closer every time. I don't know, I think I'm going to win it. I'm pretty confident now. I got through tonight. I sailed through tonight, so... I've only got sort of one more to go and we've cracked it. And it'll what be are you sitting do up there. The First thing I'm going to do is have it made larger so it'll go around my waist. I maybe throw it over my shoulder now and again, but I want it to fit me. Don't turn, you turn in, Sarah. That's why you're going wrong. Don't you move, she's, do, she's doing the throw. I remember running away from home, down to go, wanting to be a wrestler, because my mother wouldn't let me come away. I remember that very well. And she fetched me back a couple of times, take me back to Stoke, but on my 16th birthday, she let me come away for good. You're underneath the introduction. <laughs> now, you must get... You must get right. My mum said, well, I've pulled you back twice. If this is what you want to do, go ahead. She said, I think you'll be back in a couple of weeks. You won't stick to what you do. And so that's 11 years ago, and I'm still going strong now. Is that right? One fluid mo movement. Hold your hand. One of you try and get her hold on. Do you think you could do that for submission but, and swing her around? Swing. So that it's actually stretching her neck. Because when, when you get them off floor... You know, it really, it really pulls the neck up. Yeah, I think I've seen it. Well, I'll do it on Steve, because he's... And just to give you an idea. Go on, then. When I was at school, I was a bit of a bully. I had plenty of friends, but I just didn't care for anybody coming and telling me what they thought. I just liked to do my own thing. I don't think I've got a lot of aggression in me unless I'm wrestling. It do does come out of you once you get to the show and you sort of build yourself up for the match. You know you've got to go in and win, so you psych yourself up for it. And once I go in and the bell goes, that's me, I'm away. Yeah. Now move round the side. And you're, out, you're out and back up. No. What, what, Ashley, what do you want? My, ah. Is yeah. that too... No. She's not no. on the right place, no, is she? No. No. Come, come back, to, come back to the side of her. There. Yeah. Now, can you twist your body that way? One right round, keeping her there. So, <sighs> so that she, no, she must be over your, over your backside. Can you get your backside underneath her? No. Far under. Speed to you straighten up, was it? Trying? No, she got, she got. That's it. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not I haven't got the momentum to. It's it's not, it's yeah, she's got to be in there quick enough. You know, she's so not going to let you do that. So you're going to have to struggle like mad to get her into that. She's quite quick. Isn't yeah, she, she is. Uh, in, in that so respect, like yeah. You're not as quick, so you want to be getting some good solid holds on. Yeah. You know, and drag her down onto the floor. Get the headlock on. Something like yeah. this, you know, take a headlock there. Look at that there. Oh, and, Bob! And even if you sit sit down with her on the oh. floor, you know, come on, you know, Shit. and screw down into ah. the floor. Screw down into the floor. All you right. Know, you know, uh, ah. you see? All you right. Know. Because if you if you try and work at if you try and work at their speed, some of you are going to blow up. Yeah. I've had all kinds of things. I've been traction with my back because I've hurt my back. I have. I have numerous sort of aches and pains, injuries on my knees. I've had broken bones. I've broke every finger, all my fingers, my thumbs, my knees, ankles. You've just got to just to get yourself better again and just jump back in, or you lose all your nerve. That's it. You know, once you begin to wrestle, it gets into your system. No matter what you do to yourself, you know you're going to come back. It's very rare anybody. Uh, gets injured badly, goes out and never comes back. It's very rare. You know, you fight to get back to health and you carry on because that it's you know you want to do it. It's there all the time inside you.
Nobody can put, no, no, we can't put a finger on it. We don't know what it is. It's like anybody who does something that they really, really enjoy. You don't want to stop doing it. You know, you want to go on as long as you can. I dread the day I've got to put my boots down and say, that is the end for me, because I like to go out there and I like the traveling. And I just don't want to finish. I want to go on as long as I can possibly do it. Go on. Quickly. <laughs> Go. Nice. Work and Adam are my number one things, and they sort of go side by side. So really, it hasn't changed me much emotionally. I'm still the same. Come on, eat it up. Mums go soft when they have babies, but I don't want to be soft with Adam. I want him to grow up to be able to look after himself and hopefully to be a wrestler, because that's exactly what I want him to do. Mm. Come on. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, nice. You can have so much time for your child and so much time for yourself, and you've got to have a bit of a life of your own. I'll you know, you just go crazy. I can't understand how women are mothers 24 hours a day and they don't have any other kind of life. It just drives me around the bend. Hi. He's not too well. I want him checked over because it's something on his back, a little rash, and um, it's not too well at all. It's come for an injection, but I don't think he can have it. I'm just like any other working mother who goes out to work. Maybe I just have to go a lot longer time. You just got in at four, and you've got to get up and be bright and bushy for the child because he wants to play with you, and you've got to look after him, feed him, bath him, etc. He wants your attention all the time. He doesn't like me going away. He cries when I go, but I've got to go, and you know I have to leave him. I do it as quickly as I can because sometimes they get disturbed for very long. Yes, they won't. The baby. I don't know. My hands. Leave it alone. Well, I was in Ireland wrestling and uh, I just didn't feel too good and I was having pains in my arms and legs, sort of pins and needles. So I decided to go to the doctors and see what was wrong with me. And he took a look at me and he, he said, there's something funny, we just can't find out what it is. Can I give you a full examination? So they examined me and he said, I've got some news for you. You're about seven and a half months pregnant. And... Uh, I didn't thought I didn't think I'd have heard right, and he said again, "What wait? You know, seven and a half months." So I thought, "Oh my God!" And uh, I went away, and I had him two and a half weeks after. Sorry, two and a half months after that. That was it. So I just didn't know all the way through, and I was wrestling every day. And how long did you take off him? <clears throat> seven weeks altogether. <coughs> and uh, that was seven weeks too long, really. Right, in you go. Uh, yeah. In, in. I take him to the wrestling with me when I can. And he really likes it. So, but that makes a change for children, because children don't normally like it all that much. You know, youngsters, very young children, they usually cry, but he seems to like it and likes the crowd and he cheers along with everybody. Obviously, he doesn't cheer for his mum, but that's beside the point. If you, if you apply for a job, mm. your wrestling will always come first. I've been to job interviews where I've had to state, like, what's your previous mm. employment or what do you do now? And I've had to say, oh, I'm a <laughs> self-employed wrestler, blah, blah, blah. How do they And do they've that? turned me... Well, I've had people turn me down because they think it's bad for business. And um, to top it all, they don't think that's the right approach I should take. They've said to me, well, will you give your wrestling up if I offer you the job? And I've said no. I still enjoy my wrestling, well, don't you this and I will do it part time. Well, it's always been fellas that have said that to me. It's never been women no, never been. employees who have actually asked me this, and I have said no. I won't give up my wrestling because I like it, and they've always thought it was my utter downfall. And how could I possibly wrestle when I've got a job? All right, she's going to take care of everything. I know that. She's going to win it, aren't she? Yes, I am. Which competition are you going to? This is like the ladies' championship belt. You're going to win this one, aren't you? Right, we'll all back in your ear. 7th of sure. December. 7th of December. Yeah. Where are you? Ah. Uh, Levington Spa.
Oh, I, I think I'm a very competitive person. Um, I always want to win. Um, there's absolutely no doubt about that. And I'm quite a bad loser as well. Um, I sulk a lot when I lose, unfortunately. It's one of my worst points. But uh, I like to win. And I don't see, if you put your 100% into it, there's no reason why you shouldn't win. What's her chance yeah. between a, a 25 stone woman? <laughs> Little chance. Yeah, but you're wrong. You're wrong. That's you're what I'm banking on, Gillian. They are starters. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I know she's a fat old slub and she can hardly get round the ring in like three minutes anyway. Yeah, it only but... takes me 30 seconds to get round the ring, so I know I'm faster than her. 15. Right. Keep going. Come on. Tell me when it's hurting. Come on. <laughs> she's, you know, she's going to be very, very slow in the ring. And I'm hoping that I'll be that fast that she won't be able to catch me. And as soon as I get her on the ground, that'll be it. So you can see the belt around your waist? Definitely. It certainly won't go around hers. OK, Jane, it's £2 yeah. membership plus £1.20 a week. So after next week, it's only £1.20. Yeah, OK, then. We'll pay for up there, OK? OK, right, thanks. New ladies, uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Phil Hughes. I have been fully trained in all aspects of dieting and the art of slimming. Now, because I've got a serious weight problem myself, I feel that I really understand how you feel because, you know, having a weight problem can really ruin your life. It can take away all your confidence. It can make you so unhappy with your family, with your friends, with your children, with your problems. OK. Now, just in case, are you in the mood? For dieting, so, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. I want to get a little bit of weight off me before the championship. I just want to be a bit more aware of myself and I know what I'm doing. Say maybe a stone on, on another person would be a lot. Just me going okay, over this Kate, sort of 20 stone has, has upset me system, so I've got to get back underneath it. I don't mind being big, it, it doesn't bother me. I'm losing weight for sort of health reasons, really. Now I'm going to give you a mini target for Christmas, five weeks. I want real hard work, Kate. I want a commitment of you. That's the most important thing. We I care for myself, but I don't care what I look like to other people. And uh, if they don't like me, they take me the way I am. You know, that's how I feel about it. When it boils down to it, it's your life. You've got to make the most of it, the way you feel, the way you're happy the most. And if it be wrestling or doing any other kind of sport, you've got to do your own thing. I want you to lose a stone in five weeks. I think you can do yeah. that. You're yeah. going to go for it? Yeah. Okay. I would like one day, eventually, to be classed as a very powerful person, or a powerful woman, I should say. Um, successful enough to be powerful, and um, wealthy enough to be powerful. The three, well, the two combined into the one, makes very good ingredients. My ambitions in wrestling are to be the best. It's not to get better, because I don't think you can get any better really once you've been as far as I've been but to actually be acclaimed as being the best which is to have the world title belt would be the ambition for me and after that I mean it could be that somebody abroad would like me to go over to the States and start working over there with a belt which would be nice I've got no great ambition. I don't want to be a scientist for anybody brainy. I just want to get on with my job, earn a living.
bring my child up as best as I can. Hopefully he'll be arrested as well, and he can look after his mum in her old age. And that's it, that's all I've got. Very boring sort of ambition to have, but it's just, a, just a what I want. Mm. So what does the belt actually represent to you, then, the championship? Uh, it's something I've fought for for 11 years, and to get it after 11 years, even though I've had it briefly, um, I know that if I get it this time, it's in the bag, I'm going to keep on to, uh, hold of it as much as I can or as long as I can, and uh, it gives me more prestige. I get more respect from the fact that I'm the ladies' champion, and that's what I like. I like the respect off the men, because they, uh, you have to earn your respect in the wrestling world, and if you don't come up to standard, then you know, you're just an outcast. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Once I've won this belt, I want to win the world championship. That's a vacant belt, which I'm hopefully I'll end up going for that, and I'll get that if I try hard enough. Look! Look! Look at the fireworks! for the belt to become vacant. Uh, you know, this is it. I'm nervous, but I've got quite a bit of confidence in myself. I think I'm going to be OK. In fact, you know, I just, uh, just want to go out there and win me belt, and then once I've got that, Everything's been worth the while over the years. All the pain and the suffering, it will all be worth something. Well, I've geared myself tonight and I think I'm ready. Ready for the fight and to win it. Um, if anything should happen and I didn't. Uh, you know, I think I'm at my peak now and I don't know what will happen afterwards. You know, I don't know whether I could go through all that training and all that waiting again. So what was happening if you didn't win tonight? If I didn't win tonight, I don't know. I would have to think seriously about whether I would carry on wrestling. Or whether I ought to retire. Hello. Just one of my very sort of few fans. There won't be many of them, but this is one of them. You've remembered me tonight, get out there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the ex British ladies champion, she retired undefeated, <laughs> Miss Mitzi Muller. pre-fight jitters at the moment. I'm hoping they all go by the time I get in the ring. And I wish it was over as well. <laughs>
There'll be a flood of people wanting to get that back, especially off me. Thank mm -hmm. you. 